hello and welcome to this video tutorial um, this tutorial will be uh, trying to create a tooltip um, on a particular div or an element um, or something um, so we basically want to create a tooltip uh, which is highly customizable uh, which you can give images which you can give uh, uh, p tags um, ulli which you can give um, in which you can give a lot of things uh, and which is not limited to some kind of a um, a, a tooltip that is predefined i mean you 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 could you should be able to do whatever you want so that is what we are trying to do now, um this is an example for a tooltip that um, i've uh, created now uh, i'll just refresh the page and then now this tooltip that you see over here is actually if you can see properly um, it consists of a uh, a div um, which has an h1 tag which has a p tag now the div is actually created by um, by by giving a CSO style um, and um, this is all custom done um, now I saw a lot of um, tooltip uh, which were which are good enough uh, but then the problem is that it becomes really difficult to customize those tooltips so uh, this one it is quite easy so we'll get started with this tooltip and then uh, yeah um, basically it's just this much bit of code um, but then you but then you need to understand certain things the first thing is uh, obviously you need to in include jQuery inside your uh, uh, inside on the page and then the next thing is uh, the script which is responsible for uh, creating tooltip now the next thing is style.css now this style.css is a must because this is the one that uh, gives a relative position to tooltip and um, the styling of the tooltip is done with this particular css now, if you want to change the color or if you want to give a different style and look and all for the tooltip then you can do that um, inside style.css now now if you if you see over here um, you don't need this body uh, because I've already done that on the document. Now, um, this ID of TT and um, and class of hotspot, these two things are actually um, uh, we don't have to bother it, and 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 we should not edit it. Uh, the reason is these are dynamically um, obtained by the elements that pops up uh, during um, during when the tooltip is produced so we should keep this as uh, you know without any edit okay now the next thing that we want to do is um, this part this part is a tooltip um, which actually pops up the custom style that you can do um, to the tooltip if you want to change the color you can do that if you want to change the width height uh, border radius float or anything um, you can do anything to this particular thing and um, get whatever looks you want so that's it um, about the CSS the next thing that I want to talk about is, uh, is uh, this particular um, tooltip over here now we'll just uh, uh, remove the entire thing and start from scratch now I have a li tag over here now this is a li this red block that you see over here is actually this li tag which I have given a width of 30 pixel and a height of 30 pixel and a background color of which is red and I've also given an ID which is uh, tool pick tooltip click so I need to give I need to get the tooltip on a mouse over of this particular li tag so here I have a document already which will check if the document is ready and if the document is ready if somebody mouse over on this particular um, ID then I need to create a f I need to execute a function which will uh, okay if somebody mouse over um, I made a mistake over here if somebody mouse over on this particular ID I need to create a function or I need to execute a function and this function will simply show the tooltip okay so tooltip dot show and then whatever you give in this particular bracket will be shown as the tooltip so suppose if I give in I type in hurry over here and then I go back to this page I refresh the page and I mouse over on it I have this uh, my name popping up so but then there's one problem uh, wherever I move my mouse this thing is always following the uh, pointer so I don't want that now when the mouse moves out of this particular um, red box this um, 
and this tooltip should also disappear. So how do I do that? So I need to track the mouse out function, um, which is of uh, which is of of mouse out function, um, and so that is done simply like this. And instead of showing the tooltip, I just have to hide it. So dot hide. I think this should work. Now um, I have I've, I've just refreshed the page. Now um, when I mouse over, I have my name popping up as tooltip. Now when I mouse out, it hides. Okay, that's it. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to create um, this particular tooltip, um, which is designed, which we have designed. Now this is actually the tooltip that I've designed, and then um, I've just copy paste this uh, div, which is uh, which is a core um, div uh, which will pop up as uh, tooltip. So if you want to, if I if you want me to open this as an HTML document, this is how it looks. Um, I have just designed it um, and um, the style as I said earlier is this style over here and, uh, and we want to show that div um, inside this um, tooltip so what I've done over here is I've opened a PHP tag and then given a uh, taken a variable called dollar tooltip and then I've copied this particular div into this tooltip over here so it's all this one single line um, okay now I have this particular entire div as one single line over here and then I've assigned it to this variable over here now I can simply echo out I can simply open PHP tab tags over here and then um, echo out tooltip so what happens is oops, what happens is this div will be placed over here now I need to We'll save the page, refresh, um, refresh uh, the page. Then we'll see if it is working. Okay. Uh, now if I have this particular tooltip popping up. When I mouse out, it hides. Okay. Now um, it's kind of really cool, right? So it is not this particular tooltip that you can create. You can create a lot of uh, different tooltip. If you want to place an image inside this particular tooltip, you can do that. I mean. It's all up to your imaginations, so you can uh, make how whatever you want. So this is it. Um, if you want to, if you want um, this to come on click, then it's quite simple. Um, simply change this to click, and then we'll we'll refresh the page. And now when you mouse over it, you won't have it. When you click on it, oops, I have an error. Okay, we'll refresh the page.